Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. Today I'm going to show you around our one of our work vehicles that we've converted into a self-contained, self-sufficient vehicle to take to Cape Hatteras uh, just, just for fun and uh, get away from things, maybe do some surfing, windsurfing, maybe ride some horses, go to Kitty Hawk, jump off the big sand dune, you know, that kind of stuff. Anyways, I'm going to show you around here because there's a lot of things inside the van that people don't really think about that they could do uh, themselves. One is up on the roof. We've mounted three solar panels which produce 45 watts of power. That comes down to a battery here in the back and from that battery we've got a control box that keeps that battery from overcharging and keeps it charged. And then we have a power inverter and that runs a lot of things inside the van. So I just kind of wanted to show you around. Meanwhile, I'm going to make my first cup of tea on our two burner stove. And you can see it's just a propane stove, has a little propane bottle in the back, two burners. Came from Walmart, I think it was $20 or $22. What a great deal, right? But in order to put it in here, you've got to do quite a bit of work. And you can see the aluminum that we've had to line you know, all the uh, woodwork with so that we don't have any problems with fire and things like that. And more than likely, we'll cook outside. But you never know, it might be raining or who knows, it might be too windy because Cape Hatteras gets really windy. So let's make a cup of tea. I'm using green tea and also an Earl Grey, <laughs> Earl Grey tea. I like to mix the two together. I think they taste really good. Okay. Okay, here we go, our first cup of tea ever in our self-contained vehicle. Let me turn some things off. Oh, you can hear that water boiling. Sounds like you're on a campsite. We're pouring it in. Maybe you can see it, I don't know. And there we have our cup of tea. Pretty cool. You know, I know it sounds really silly, but being self-sufficient, self-contained, you know, that was really one of my biggest dreams in life and probably why I made so many videos about how to install drains because you know I believe that you can do something I you can do anything anything you want if you believe you can do it so we'll let this brew for a second let's go up on the top and take a look at the solar panels let me show you how that works so up here on the top of the truck we've mounted three solar panels and you can see the wire that goes down and into the van. These panels produce about 45 watts of power and they run down into a battery where there's a control panel that keeps the battery from overcharging. We also put a 750 watt inverter in here so we can run TV, fans, tools if we need to. Really can't run an air conditioner, but that's okay. Okay, so here's where we've brought the power from the solar panel down into the truck and you can see the battery is collecting that power and storing it and then we've got a control box and you can see the numbers on there I think it says 12.5 that's 12.5 volts DC which is available right now the red box right here is the power inverter and what that has is 750 watts of power is converting the DC power into AC power so you can run appliances like televisions, fans, computers, DVDs, all kinds of stuff. Charge your cell phone. You can even see it has a little USB port right here. You can just plug that in and charge up your cell phone really quick. So this works really good. And then here's again, you know, there's more cabinets kind of come up a little bit higher here so you can see there's storage down here underneath there's storage in here we've got our kitchen I know it's not really a kitchen but it's my kitchen and we've got a two burner propane stove on there with our pot of water that we just made our first cup of tea and you can see my cup over there a nice little cabinet there for the closet to put in all kinds of stuff food whatever pots and pans things like that coming on around you can see how long this van really is and <clears throat> I really am comfortable in here I mean it's quite quite comfortable I've got the pillows and the cushions 
And of course, coming back around, we've got our TV mounted over here as well. And our cell phone, which keeps falling down. I have to fix that. <laughs> but anyways, this is the van. You can see we've got lots of air conditioning coming here off the roof. And it should be really comfortable, I think, once I go out. And again, surfboards and windsurfing gear will go underneath of here. This just raises up a lot of storage under there. Um, the only thing left to really do here is to put in the sink. Yep, you got to have a sink. And over here by the sugar jar right here, what I want to do is create just a small create just a small sink right here and let it drain when I open the door it'll just drain outside water storage will actually be mounted up on the roof and I'll bring that water down and bring it in right inside here so this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something I guarantee you can do it have a great day